Right, um, I've just crossed over the road from um, the so-called beach area, uh, sorry, where we're staying, and um, just walked down to the uh, small Gambia beach area. It's just across the road. It's literally, well, 15 minutes walk, you know. I've got a bit of wind noise, so I'll try and keep away out of it. As you can see, it's absolutely packed, isn't it? You know, there's, uh, yeah, you're right, there's nobody on the beach. <laughs> Um, I've just arrived here, this is okay, I've been here a week but I've only just arrived here today to have a little look, quick look, still at the fishing village because up there where I'm pointing now is Tanji and that's the fishing place. If I turn the other way you'll get more of a wind noise. So this is, it's still very uh, basic but I'm trying to uh, keep my finger over some of the noisy holes. Uh, the food looks alright and you can walk down a couple of areas. There's another place where you can walk down where those banks are, about here. And then if you carry on up with the coastline, right on up, just towards the bend area, uh, which is quite a distance, is the private hotel area, um, where you're literally, everything's inclusive. You don't even come out of the hotel. Some horses coming up on the beach. Um, but very easy place to come to. Anyway, there's Rose and her Louisa. Then I'm going to buy the good dog. That's Louisa. Yep. And that's very stubborn, Louisa. And they just like her mom. I'm not, I'm not stubborn, but I you know that. Oh, I see them always. I can see them always. Yeah. Just come out for a quick sandwich before I'm off out. Catch you in a bit. Louisa! So, this is Louisa. There's the sea in the background. There's Rose. Oh, yes. With her natural hair, which makes her make a nice change. And she's carried Louisa all the way here. And that is a true mama for you, okay? No messing. Okay? And there's the sea. Thank you. Right folks, as you can say, you can want to hear some drumming in the background. We're back onto the uh, beach bar um, just over the road from where we uh, farmers are. Uh, it's our third visit here. Um, so we'll see how we go. We've just pulled in for a vimto, listen to the waves crashing. A bit more wind today. Today is Monday, it's a strike day, uh, so the roads are pretty quiet and uh, we've just sort of come down to the beach. Uh, I think we've got something for cooking for tonight, something to save going out because we're not too sure about the strike. Um, it's only politics again so I won't go into that. Um, so yeah, other than that it's uh, not been too bad, not too bad at all. So we're just here, as you say, um, just having a poor little vimto and probably a sandwich. Catch you all later. Love you all. Look at that view. And the place is deserted apart from just a few people. Well, um, this is the end of the bar story. Uh, we've been here over an hour probably. Um, that's the sort of attitude you've got is she's on the phone, you know, texting away. We've waited an hour for a couple of chicken sandwiches and none have arrived. We said we were going to go at four o'clock and it's about one minute to four. So unless yeah. miracles happen. Yeah. You know, so we're, we're off home. So there you go. So this is not something I'd recommend, but you know, it's a nice enough place. But uh, if you want food, forget it. Um, if you want a drink, then fine. If you want to come down for a drink, but you know, I wanted a bit of sandwich to keep myself going. So we're going back home and uh, a bit of cooking. So I'll make another photo of this as I'm going out to see where it is. So basically just avoid it because if you will want food then uh, don't come out. Cheers. Right, um, I just said that and about one minute past four, here comes the sandwiches. They haven't got the bread we wanted, that this is the other bread. So there you go. 
Uh, very poor service, sadly, one of the worst. Cheers.